wanted to ask you about your friends, Nate, because McLaren took a huge step forward in Austria. Lando Norris finished fourth after the penalties, of course, but showed great pace all weekend. They're expected to bring more upgrades to Silverstone. Do you feel like they're finally starting to click on all cylinders after a pretty slow start? I think it's too early to say, you know, they've made a global improvement in terms of, mm -hmm. of generally speaking. And I think, to be honest with you, what Lawrence just said about Mercedes, you can almost flip around a little bit with McLaren. If you look at McLaren's form at Austria, they've or Lando especially has always been super, super strong there. Their car just seems to suit that place. We spoke, we went to, I went to McLaren on Monday and Zach Brown said it was a great result, but we're a long way away from feeling like we can do that every week. But given where McLaren started, I think that any progress is good. And I think they have made a good step with that. I don't want it to sound like I'm saying, oh, they're still, you know, they're still stuck where they were, you know, a month or two ago. Um, but I think that Austria and just how well Lando was driving that weekend probably propelled them up the grid a little bit. You know, are they going to be ahead of ahead of an Aston and ahead of a Mercedes every week? I don't think that's going to be the case, in, you know, certainly for the, you know, not for the foreseeable future. But the fact that they're now in that mix, I think Zach Brown feels pretty confident that they can fight up there with Alpine pretty regularly, which a few months ago we wouldn't have predicted at all. So definite, definite step forward. Lando was asked, um, will he be the top Brit on the podium? Um, oh, sorry, uh, uh, at Silverstone. And he was like, well, it's basically us for you Mercedes, isn't it? Because the other two guys are there. And then he basically looked at the journalist who asked the question and kind of shook his head with a smile on his face and was like, I'd love to be, but you know, it looks, looks unlikely, but, um, but we'll see. I think that what McLaren like at the moment is that both their drivers seem to be getting the most out of the package. And obviously last year that wasn't the case. And I think one of the big questions last year was how many extra points could we have got had Ricardo been performing in that other car? So I know Piastri isn't getting points every week, but I think that they, they feel like his performance levels or where they want them to be. And obviously he didn't have the upgrade in Austria. He's getting the upgrade this week, I, I believe. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, the, it, it's quite remarkable to see that the morale of that team seems to be still in a good place, despite everything we've talked about with just where they were at the start of the year and kind of where they are generally, because they're still not really where they, where they wanted to be. You know, McLaren should be at the front competing for titles, not, you know, not patting themselves on the back for being a midfield team. To that point, I, I have to imagine Lando Norris early on, Lawrence was frustrated with how things were going and, and the lack of pace. Do you feel like this kind of progress, I don't know if a appease is the, is the right word, but does this kind of progress help with Lando Norris's future at McLaren? Definitely, but it has to be sustained and and really has to be better than, than it has been so far because, I mean, it's all well and good saying, you know, they've made this great step in Austria, but by their own admission, they went, well, they launched the car and they said, you know, we know we're not going to be where we want to be in the midfield. We know we're not going to be competitive. Then an upgrade came in Baku, which is really where the car should have started the season four races in. And then this latest upgrade came in Austria and really that should have been there, uh, you know, once they got away from the first few flyaway races. So it's, it's still behind expectations within McLaren. And uh, I think a long way behind expectations for Norris. Of course, with Lando, the the other question is 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 what else is available at any any one time? Where else can he go? And I, I still think that if you know a really serious offer was put on the table to him, and he has a way to get out of that McLaren contract, the way things are stacked up right now, you'd probably take it. Because if you look at the long term uh, prospects at, at McLaren, okay, yes, there's some steps forward. They've got the wind tunnel coming in, which they claim is going to make, a, you know, their own brand new wind tunnel coming in, which they claim is going to make a big step forward uh, essentially next year and then the year after. Uh, but you look around at some of the rivals, and you've got Aston Martin making this huge step uh, without their new wind tunnel online yet. And, you know, without the the new factory which has just opened uh they did all of that last year anyway with uh with just getting the right people on board you look at obviously red bull being so far ahead you look at the quality of mercedes the kind of the potential at ferrari and the romance of driving for ferrari then you even look at say alfa romeo which is going to become audi in 2025 uh 2026 uh even 2026 when they actually become audi and you think well you know that the, the, those are some really good prospects because a team like Audi, they're going to have their own inbuilt so in-house engines uh, coming in, building around the chassis. So I still think McLaren have to do an awful lot to prove Lando long term that it's the right place to be. But of course, mm -hmm. you've got to start somewhere. So so this step, uh, which we should all say isn't the full upgrade package they had in Austria, there's still bits to come to it. Uh, and uh, and as Nate said, it's going to be on, on Oscar's car as well this weekend. Uh, it is very important, but I think they really have to do something long-term as well to prove to Lando that it's the right place to be.
Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.